Hey, this is my friend Sean. He's uh, 34 years old. Desperately wants to change his life, get back closer to Jesus. Just got out of Rikers Island. And uh, tell us a little bit about your life story, Sean. Well, uh, unfortunately, I'm a rape child. My father is a Jew. And uh, my mom is Native American and African American. I guess she was doing drugs and all back in 75. I was conceived, born 76. And I never met my father. I was raised by my great aunt. I had a great childhood, but to make a long story short, she passed away when I was 17 and left me a lot of money. And I'm one of those kids that fall in love easy. I'm easy going. I, I have friends and I squandered all my money away. And, and at 18, I had found the Lord and, and I had read the Bible for the first time and it was like, I, it was a part of me. As time went by, I had a relationship with a woman, and she was on um, cocaine, uh -huh. and I tried it myself while I was in the world at the same time, and here I am at 34, and I was 20 years old, wow. and in and out of jail, drug charges, and I just, I have a part of me that feels so guilty that I'm just so down on myself, and I want to die, but I can't commit suicide, because then it's like, I'm just rejecting God's free gift. Yeah. So I'm, I don't know what to do right now. I it need sounds mercy. like you're a fighter. It sounds like you're a fighter. You're not just going to give up on God or yourself. No. I need my life back. And yeah. I don't want to die without being in the Word. Yeah. If I die now, I feel like I'm going to be a laughing stock in heaven. Yeah. Well, wow. you know what? Um, we're going to try and get you over to uh, Battelle of America. There's some... Uh, like-minded guys who've been through problems and, and know Jesus and they know he's the only way and we're gonna we're gonna try and connect you over there and this is them now I think hello hey Naomi how are you this is Naomi right how are you what well, I got Sean over here he's this uh, this guy we met over here in Harlem while we're doing outreach and uh, he wants to, to try and change his life. Yes, he is, but he's willing to uh, to drop that cold turkey. Oh, he would definitely like to come in today. Okay, would you like to talk to him for a minute and just make sure everybody's on the same page? Right. All right, let me put you on the phone with Sean. Sean, there's Naomi. Naomi Kimball. Hello. Oh, real bad, and I know the Lord at the same time. It's not... Uh, better was it if I never known at all to know the Lord and live like this. Yes, it's a way to get on my feet and, and feel right with God once again. That's my whole point. Thank right, you. Right now, Sean's uh, talking to the intake director at Patel of America, and uh, he's finding out about all the... Uh, oh, that's easy. I'm a New York City offer. boy, so I know how to get around pretty well. I got a couple of metro cars. They should add up to 225, I hope. I pick them off the ground. I'm, I'm homeless real bad right now, so I pick them off the ground and put them together, but I will definitely get there. Hey, Sean, we'll, we'll get you over there, too. I'll get you a metro card if okay. you need one. Oh, I'm coming, yes. I just have some clothes at, at my own program I'm in and some clothes in the precinct. I just want to get the clothes out the uh, precinct. It's only right down the street right here. That'll be beautiful. Yes, thank you. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually doing this right now. Wow.